Hello, my name is Amy Aker and welcome to my channel. So it seems like there wasn't a whole lot out recently on the market that was worth purchasing. And then it was like a bunch of things came on the market and then there was a bunch of sales simultaneously. So I've got several different areas that I've purchased from. It's all come in. And so I just wanted to share with you what we, what we, what I have, um, I will be testing soon. So the first bit was Coverproof Foundation and Wonder to Perfect Selfie. Um, I saw these on at Taylor's, um, I can't think this morning, on her channel. So I'm gonna link her review on this below. I'm actually testing it out today and so have that on my face and so that'll be in a separate video to see how did this actually work on my face. So very excited about that. I do like how um, I usually look at some of her stuff because she's got really white skin also to see how kind of um, what works for her skin tone because I might be about the same color or just slightly darker. So I do like watching her videos. So we're testing that one out today. And then we have um, Amber Shoals, who is absolutely cute. Way, way younger. She probably could be my granddaughter at this point. But she loves high-end products, but she also likes finding the, a high-end dupe on a budget. So I'm going to link her, her link below. But she had picked up these shoes that are absolutely adorable. So I was like, oh, I have to have those also. So check out these shoes. I mean, normally I'm makeup related, but I love these little babies. And these are a knockoff of a very expensive brand. But what I like is they're super soft on the inside and they are fun. So I'm looking forward to um, using those. And I will go ahead and link Amber's YouTube channel below so that you can see what else she bought. But she inspired this one. Okay, so as y'all know, Kat Von D put out the Saint and Center palette, and this palette is um, something I am also testing out today. It is an absolute beautiful palette. I haven't seen too many YouTube videos out there yet, so I felt kind of, um, kind of confused because I thought it's a beautiful palette. But who knows? Who knows? Maybe just some of the people that I normally watch. Um, don't maybe necessarily wanted to try something that had a lot of bright colors in it. Next, I, I tootled on over to Morphe. And so I probably bought a bunch of stuff I don't need. Oh, okay, I did. Um, these were all $3 a piece, and this is basically their lip liners. They were like $3 a piece, so I didn't feel too guilty on this splurge, even though it looks like a massive splurge. So, really and truthfully, the colors I got, um, guilt-free, was Fantasy, Bite Me, Bar, Hoova, Sweet Tea, High Maintenance, Wine Me, Linda, Backseat, Love, ooh, Ginger Foolish, that's kind of me, Mina Showstopper, Clingy, and Coconut. So again, those are the colors that I got. So we'll see how those do. I'm sure I will have a different video just kind of on each of these products, actually. I don't think. I know. I know. So I also decided from Morphe, I swore I was not going to buy this palette, I'll be honest. Jacqueline Hill, I like her makeup, but sometimes she's just annoying. So I didn't think I was gonna buy the palette, but Ashley, who has um, a channel, I'll also put her link below, is absolutely freaking adorable, and she has been obsessed with this palette. And so really and truthfully, everyone else that's used, I'm like, eh, whatever. But Ashley kept using it, and the more I saw her use it, the more I decided, all right, Ashley, and thank you. Hi, Ashley. Thank you very much. You talked me into a palette I didn't think I was gonna buy. 
So I did buy it and I look forward to doing some looks here and it's all Ashley's fault and Ashley's link is below. By the way, she's adorable. Okay, so then I didn't get the new Morphe blah 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 3.50-6A backslash C palette. Whatever that new one is, I didn't get it. But I did get the 350 palette, so that is a very shiny, shimmery palette. All shimmers. I really like this pumpkin one. Oh, that's gonna, the, even though I keep saying I'm over shimmers, my eye goes back to a freaking shiny bobble. Go figure. I don't need any more shimmers. I also got the 350M palette. And to me, that was very similar to the one that I just described with all the numbers, letters, backslash. Yeah. Anyways, this one did have a lot of fun colors to use for fall, so I went ahead and picked up this one. These two came, I believe, in a package together. It's been a little bit since I've shopped, so um, forgive me if I don't have everything right. All right, we're gonna keep going. The Pure Pro palette. So recently, I got a Pure palette from, I believe it was BoxyCharm. I used it, and I liked how the Pro eyeshadows worked. They worked really, really nice, and so I wanted to see what kind of full palettes they have. I, I like the full palettes versus the individuals, unless it's Makeup Geek, but that's always another subject with me. I love me some makeup geek. So anyways, this is the teen palette. And um, I really liked the colors in here. A lot of neutrals, but some pretty purples that I liked. It's also got a bit of shimmers and I just can't figure out what I wanna do as far as an eye look with this one. I do like how even though it's a cardboard palette, it feels really nice. And it says, makeup is self-expression, no rules, 15. Okay, I totally believe that too. Have fun. Okay, I've got more crap in here. This has just been, I don't know, a weird haul, I guess. I think this stuff, I don't know. So the next, like a lot of stuff that I'm gonna pull out is either from Ulta, Sephora, or Marc Jacobs. So I believe this stuff I got from Ulta. I'm gonna be doing a trial on the Catrice HD liquid coverage. Really curious about that. It's a 24 hour. Everyone and their son, or everyone and their daughter, has already done a video on this LA Girl Pro Coverage HD High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. I held off for a long time. Now, I'm, you know, I'm sucked in. I'm sucked in. I'm gonna try it. Then we have some Pure Minerals 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup. So, I kinda wanted to try that. Again, you know, I wanna see how this whole Pure thing goes because I haven't, really, you know, gotten into them as a makeup company. So now that I've kind of put my toe in, they've got me curious, so now I want to try some more stuff. And my sister-in-law, Sabrina, the makeup mom, hi, Sabrina. Um, she picked these up in one of her hauls recently, and though, I don't know, she just made me want to purchase it. So the one bad thing about having a sister-in-law equally into makeup and sometimes we're like, are you gonna purchase this? I don't know, are you? Yeah, okay, let's see how it goes. And then she purchases something that I'm like, eh. I'm like, oh, she's right. I maybe should have purchased it. So anyways, these little things are because of you, Sabrina. And I probably have more products in here because of you. Although it's also funny. So anyway, she bought the Jacqueline palette at the same time I did. Um, she also bought the Huda Beauty uh, foundation at the same time she got hers. I haven't got mine, but you know, it's just kind of funny to me. Sometimes when her and I don't speak about what we're gonna buy, we end up sometimes purchasing the same stuff anyways. Okay, so Marc Jacobs had a sale and I wanted to try, I really, really love 
this mascara from Marc Jacobs. Like this is my holy grail of mascara. So I wanted to put again a toe out into seeing how his other mascaras do. So I purchased that one because I have a feeling I'm about done with this one and I love me some Marc Jacobs. I also decided to pick up some more of his eye pencils. Okay, his eye pencils are amazing. Um, they, they stay on, they work well. In fact, I used the blacker as my base today for my eye, eyeshadow, more along the eyeliner section as I moved up. And anyways, these eyeliner pencils, I got, I think, two in a set. I never used it, his stuff before, and um, I got hooked. So I keep buying, a little bit at a time, some of his other colors. So here's three more colors that I just purchased because I really like them. So I got Deja Blue. Come on now, that's a cute name. You know it's a cute name. <laughs> we have overnight. Ooh. That's kind of like the ocean. Very dark and mysterious. And then we have some grapevine. But I freaking love these pencils. Like I know they're way expensive compared to what you can get in the drugstore or even some of the other ones online, but I promise you they're worth the money. The other thing that I wanted to try of his that I hadn't yet is an eyeshadow palette. And I love how it looks like a purse with the little, I don't know, it looks just like those cute freaking purses. Um, you can open it up, you've got a mirror, and you can pull this little bit up to see the eyeshadows. And look at those eyeshadows. So I got these eyeshadows so that I could do a um, breast cancer awareness since it is October. I know I'm running way late and by the time I get the video up it's probably gonna be November but we're gonna just keep breast cancer awareness going. We're gonna take it in November if it needs to. But I do like Marc Jacobs. I started using or getting a, a chance to know his products when I tried the foundation and then it's just progressed. I bought several other of his other products. Really, really love them. Okay, since I am going bald, yes, stress, I don't know, has got me. This year has been absolutely the craziest roller coaster ride. Mostly recently. That's a whole nother discussion. A whole nother discussion. But I really started noticing actually in my videos that when I turned my head, that I started having a like a receding hairline freaked me out because I didn't even know I was receding. How is that possible? It's possible. So I started using Nioxin and they were 50% off on Ulta and I have not used some of these additional products. So I do put in the Nioxin in the little areas and it really has helped. I've got a lot of little baby hairs growing back in. I love it. So because they were having a 50% off sale, I went ahead and picked up some foam. I picked up some thickening spray and both of these I've used and they, they're they doing, I think they're doing a great job. I have not tried yet the hairspray, but I wanted to go ahead and pick up the hairspray. So it's a pro thick technology also. Um, it adds density and that's really what I need until my hair starts growing back in. It's just not good. Just not good. I also picked up the Natasha Denona Black is Black Starliner. So I saw this and was absolutely intrigued. You have a step one and step two with the Natasha Denona eyeliner. And so I, I had to have it, had to have it. I love black and I love black sparkles. I'm not sure what I'm gonna create yet, but I'm gonna create something. Oh, I missed a Marc Jacob one. How did I do that? I have another pencil. Okay, and ooh, look at that one. That one's called Missed Me. 
I missed you. Then we have the Bye Bye Lines Foundation. I am old and so I have lines. And so I wanted to see how this did because I'm okay with saying bye bye to my lines. And these are just a bunch of little samples. So hold on, I have another box. This is the video I hope my husband doesn't watch. None of his business, none of his business right now. Okay, so I did get from Sephora the Beauty Insider. You get your little points and then you get free stuff. So I wanted to try the Laura Mercier. I've never purchased the powders. I always see them in the videos of other YouTubers, but I've never tried any of that. None of that. So when I saw this as one of their, the, the pieces you could buy with their points, I decided to try it that way. It's free. If I, you know, fall in love, great. If I don't, okay, fine. I also was not going to purchase this palette. So Bailey Sarian, who is one of my favorite YouTubers, um, she, she really didn't like this palette. I love Huda's other palette that she, that she has, and so as much as I try to not purchase this palette, because I trust Bailey, I love me some Bailey. I'll leave her link below also. I got sucked in. I'll tell you, I love the colors in this palette, and in fact, her other palette I used for my 17th um, wedding anniversary video. And so you'll get to see, I'll be able to kind of give you guys um, an understanding between the two. Do, did they both work for me? Did one work better than the other, etc. So that's gonna be coming. Here's another palette I wasn't quite sure about because of price. Um, the Natasha Denona Lila palette, I Lila, I loved. Yes, I lie loved this palette. This keeps popping up. Her videos keep popping up. And I, once again, am a crow to a shiny bobble. I couldn't stop myself. So I am really, really, really looking forward to trying this Natasha Denona palette. I will say the first product that I used of hers was the foundation. I'm freaking in love with her foundation. In fact, I love it so much, it stays right in front of me because she, that foundation is amazing. Okay, so as far as also free stuff, um, I used my points to try the Peter Thomas Roth product. So they had a little box here that I got with my points. And so I wanted to make sure that um, I tried some new beauty products there. So what else did I get? Um, I did purchase the I Have Way More Makeup at Home by Too Faced. So this little bad boy has some better than sex mascara and like last year's holiday collection, it also has um, three palettes in it. So, and along with that little makeup kit. Looking forward to trying that soon. Also, I went ahead, and that one's um, at Ulta. The Tarte, this is the Tarte's version of their holiday collection. And as you open these all up, there's all kinds of little goodies when you open this. I love how it's shaved. I love the ingenuity. It's just adorable, so that will be coming in a video. And I love how this has a magnetic clasp, so you don't have it falling all over the place. So not only were, was the packaging neat, but it's functional, so you don't have the little flaps flying everywhere. Um, I, is that it? Oh, probably not. Okay, I did get the two new dose 
um, of colors lipsticks. One is Play It Cool. I don't know where the other one is because I've been testing it out. It's somewhere amongst where I just put all this stuff. I also picked up the other two colors I was missing from the Too Faced Sweet Peach. I picked up Doll Face and Make Me Happy. So Doll Face, look at that color. Oh, such a pretty, pretty color. And then we have Make Me Happy. This was also sold out. So um, both of those I were I was curious about, especially when something sells out, you have to wonder why that color is going much quicker and that you can easily get everything else. And da -da -da -da. I got other stuff in this box, but um, oh, is this the other dose of colors or did I drop it back in? No, I dropped it back in. The other thing that I had planned on doing, but I don't know that I'm going to get it done in time to actually put the video out, was um, try some of these UV eyeliners to do a look for Halloween, and I actually got a UV mascara. So, once again, I'm just, I'm running late for a lot of reasons. I've got a lot of upheaval going on right now, so um, that's why. And then also from Ulta, I got this little bag for free and it feels amazing and in it has like a billion samples to try. So you get some superhero mascara, which if y'all have not tried the superhero mascara, I'd say that's second to Marc Jacobs. It also comes with some bio cleansing conditioner from Unwash. It comes with some Clarins Multi-Active, um, this comes, this targets fine lines. It's an antioxidant day cream. We have a coupon, who doesn't love coupons? Um, I'm always into masks, they scare the hell out of my husband, love that. We have some Root Shoot, some Precise Root Mousse. We got a little butterscotch lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I mean, this bag is full of stuff. We have some Rock Multi Correction 5 in 1 Neck and Face Cream. Sorry, the dog did back in. We have some The Perfect Blondie Purple Toning Shampoo. I do like um, putting that on for my highlights. We have ooh, some nail polish applique. That could be interesting. We have Angel Muse Perfume Muggler. We have some Philosophy Grace Perfume Samples. We have a little Hula Contour Stick. They just fill you up with samples. Woman by Ralph Lauren. Murad Retinol Youth and Night Cream. Holy crap, this thing still has more in it. Silica gel, all right, that was a joke. It also has Shishido Wrinkle Resistant 24 Hour Eye Contour Cream. Can't wait to try that tonight. We have the Ulta Lip Gloss. This is in Olivia. We have a Smashbox, this color, or this is called Rouge. And lastly, we have the Body Shop Drops of Youth, Youth Concentrate. So this little bag held a ton of stuff, but I love how this little bag feels actually. So I got a lot of products to uh, be testing and using, and I think I still have some other packages coming. So when I get a next grouping, um, I'll go ahead and do another multi-haul video like I did this one. So anyways, is any of these products have you guys used? Do you like them? Are you 
super excited for me to test any particular product first versus anything else, I would love to hear from you. I'm always open to trying new stuff. So if there's a product you haven't seen that I haven't, that you guys absolutely love that I haven't used, give me, spill the tea. Spill the tea. I want to try it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please put any comments or questions below. And as always, you have a choice. So make it a great one. Until next time.